Dreams. Welcome back to another Read Aloud. As you know, we always have interesting stories to tell you every week and we have themes to go with them. Our theme for this month is still on Black Heritage, that is, knowing about who we are as Black people, as Africans. The title of our story today is Song of Truth, Mary Makeba. So we're going to be reading about Mary Makeba. And it was written by Bianca de Jong and Jade Matheson. And was illustrated by Lorisa Blow and translated by Badra Halsman. Let's see what the story is about. But before we go, let's look at the page. Yes, we have what looks like a woman singing with two men at the back playing musical instruments. Let's go. Many years ago, a little girl was born in a big city called Johannesburg. That girl was me. My mother used to call me Mary, Mary Makeba. My mother was a doctor but she also worked to keep others' homes clean and tidy. My mother used to make and sell alcohol at home and earn more money. But the law made it a crime to make and sell alcohol at home. The police sent my mother to prison for six months. So I went to prison even though I was very young. As a child, I developed a love for singing. As I grew older, I began to help my mother with household chores. Because of the quality of the song, it ended quickly and the day went smoothly. The joy I felt from singing was indescribable. My songs sung in church made others happy. The song was the power to bring people together. When we sang, we felt like we were brave and strong. People used to say, my voice is a divine gift. My song is something else. I sang with other musicians and our songs went all over the world. My home was in Sophia Town, a melting pot of culture and music. Sophia Town was a place where people from South Africa would come together to make melodious music and dance. But those who ruled at that time, people are disturbed by our unity. They did not want this friendship between blacks and whites. I was realizing that it was wrong to discriminate on the basis of color in this way. The rulers wanted to take me out of the country because I was expressing my views fearlessly. When I was singing in America, I was told I couldn't go home. The whole world heard my story. My song and story helped the world understand how black people in South Africa are discriminated against on the basis of color. I made up my mind that no matter what happens, I will continue to sing and spread the truth of my country. The world loved my music. Many countries welcomed me with open arms. I won a lot of awards and I also sang for important people around the world. My life was going well, but there were still some shortcomings. I could not sing in my own country. 
and the people there were still not independent. It finally dawned on the golden day on which Nelson Mandela became president of South Africa. New people came to power and that oppressive law was now a thing of the past. I returned to my home with a new hope. After that, I started singing in a free and fair country. People of different colors came together and enjoyed the music. It all happened because I was brave and strong. I have been praising the truth all my life. And that's the end. Thank you, Bookworms, for listening to this interesting story. I'll see you in the next story. Have a lovely day. Bye.